Okay, I'm just popping in to do a really quick like intro video. This vlog's gonna be a little weird because my last vlog ended up having way too much footage, so I'm including footage. Did I say footage or footage? Footage. So I'm including a lot of it at the beginning of this vlog. So this is my little intro video. Hi, welcome to a new reading vlog. Um, it's a crazy one. Enjoy. It is Sunday night. I finished Shatter Me yesterday, but I just finished the novella in the back called Destroy Me, which was like Warner's novella, Warner's perspective. I put this, okay, hello. Thank you very much, camera. Why? Anyways, long story short, my March wrap up has gone up before this video. So you might have, what the freak? Okay, will this focus better? You might have already seen that I did enjoy Shatter Me. I give it a three stars, but the Destroy Me novella in the back, I give it five stars. It like completely redeemed the series, mainly because it gave you answers as to why like Warner is the way that he is. And now I just want to get to know Warner even more. And I'm really excited for the second book, except for it doesn't come in the mail probably for a few days. And it's killing me because I want to read it right freaking now. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say tonight. I didn't update it all today. I didn't really have time. Tomorrow I'll probably update. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in. My bookshelf is so empty everything's in this book and this box oh and it is monday today so i know the sliding is garbaggio but i just packed up the entire bookcase and i actually have another bookcase that i bought just the exact same one as this one to build because i completely ran out of room in that bookcase anyways so one of my next upcoming videos will be arrange my bookshelf with me <laughs> because I'm gonna have two entire bookshelves now and I have to arrange them. I have so many books that I have like, probably like 20 to 30 books that I didn't have a good place for on this. A lot of them are paperbacks, so I'm just gonna have to figure out how to way to, what how to arrange me paperback books. Um, yeah. And then I also have like, all my pop sockets. Nope, I said it Funko Pops. I keep saying pop sockets, Funko Pop. I have my Funko Pops in there, which never thought I'd be a Funko Pop collector, but here we are, being an ultimate fan girl. Uh, what else? Also, oh, I did finish Shatter Me. I know I talked about that in my last clip from last night, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about it, I think, if I remember correctly. I finished Shatter Me. I didn't love it, but I liked it. But boy, um, Destroy Me, the little novella right after that, which is in Warner's perspective, I now love the series. And I'm really excited to continue. I don't know if I said this already yet, but I also pre-ordered the fifth book in the series, which comes out actually literally tomorrow. Today's April 1st. I pre-ordered it on Barnes Noble, so it's like a special Barnes Noble's, you know how you know what Barnes Noble does, special Barnes Noble edition. So I am clearly really liking it. I honestly haven't looked into the series too much. I'm not sure if the fifth one is supposed to be the final book or if she's gonna put out more. But I'm really excited again, how many times I have to say that to keep going. The Just the Destroy Me novella in Warner's perspective is just so amazing because it truly like answers so many questions that I had about Warner and I'm so thankful for that because I wanted to know what the tea was with Warner because I really fell in love with him. For some reason with the lighting in this camera, it gets so blurry and I don't know why. Like, can you please just figure your shiz out? Anyways, I've been talking for too much. I am about 215 pages into Tower of Dawn. And I'm also really loving that, which is so exciting because I was really, like, nervous going into this book because I'm, I did not give three shizzes about Kaol. I did not give a flying pho about him. I'm like, I don't care about Kaol. He's annoying AF. But now I love him. It literally only took me, a, to, it literally only took me 100 pages to get into this book and be like, holy crap, I love Kaol which came out of nowhere, I feel like. And I do love the other main characters in this book too. Like I'm swooning over Sartak or Sartak or however you say it. And I really like Nezrin. I like Nezrin from the start, but I love, I think in the audiobook they say Irene, but for some reason I like to say Irene, Irene, Irene. It's Irene. I don't know what's wrong with me. You know when your brain just like reads something and then it's like, yep, that's how it is from here on out. And it's like, that's not correct. But you like can't fix it anyways i've been loving it i'll probably finish it in the next couple of days because i'm doing about 60 percent 
physical reading, 40% audiobook. So I'm doing a lot of reading, but when I'm like doing my makeup in the morning or at work, I will plug in and do some audiobook when I can focus on it. So. Okay, so it is Sunday, um, April 6th. And I haven't vlogged for I think like a solid week because we just moved. We literally just moved a like apartments across the parking lot, like within the same complex. So it took not very long at all. But during the week after work, this last week we have been packing up and then yesterday, Saturday and today, Sunday, we've just been like yesterday we moved everything and today we are just working on organizing and stuff. Also, my dad was still in town, so we were spending a lot of time with him. I will show you what the situation looks like. We have a two bedroom apartment, so we do have an extra room for like my get ready area and also my book tube, book area, bookcases, all that jazz. I will show you what it looks like. It's a disaster in here right now. So right now I just have my like makeup and my little makeup desk right next to the window to get some natural lighting. I have my Funko Pops in there. Books, stacks of 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 books. One bookshelf, this is the one I already had, and then we need to make the extra one I have right here. I do, I did just buy on Wayfair on sale, like a green love seat to put right here, and then so sometimes I can film, and if that comes within the next week and a half, I'll put it in this vlog. Um, if it comes, I'll show you, but I can like film in front of that sometimes. Obviously, most of the time I'll probably film in front of my bookcases, but it would be nice though when I get the green love seat to like hang out in here sometimes and read or edit videos or just like get away for a little bit. I really like that idea to kind of have like my own space other than just the bedroom. So obviously, Sam and I share the bedroom, but it would be nice to just kind of like my own space. Let me update you on my book. Um, I finished Tower of Dawn. I loved Tower of Dawn. Like, loved it so much. I gave it like, I think a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm really happy I loved it because I was very nervous going into it. I couldn't give a rat's A about Kale. And then when I read that book, I was like, oh my gosh. He's so needed that character arc. Like, he's so needed that character development. It was so important to his story. I loved it. I know her name is Irene, but for some reason I always say Irene. I have no idea why. I loved Irene, and I loved Nezrin a lot. Like, I feel like Nezrin and I could be best friends. I really vibe with her, and holy crap. I think it became my second favorite book in the series, right behind Air of Fire, because Air of Fire book three is definitely my favorite out of the entire series. What else did I do? Oh yeah, I'm only like two more chapters into Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I'm really trying to take this one slow to just live it all up and enjoy it and everything. And then I am on Unravel Me, and I think I'm 157 pages into Unravel Me, and I'm liking it better than the first one, but I'm also like, give me more Warner content, because after reading the novella right after Shatter Me, which is all in Warner's perspective, I'm like, I wish this was all in Warner's perspective. Like, I just want to know more about Warner. I need more Warner content. Anyways, that's how things are going. I'm going to pop off. I will... Probably talk to you guys a little bit more tomorrow or something, show you the updates of moving or whatever, but. Oh yeah, right tomorrow, once we have my other bookshelf built, I'm gonna film a completely separate video called Organize My Bookshelf With Me, and if you guys are interested in that, if it's already up, I will link it up here. If it's not, stay tuned for that, because I think that one's gonna be a fun one. I've got a lot of things I gotta organize, so. Yeah. Anyways, I'm signing off for Sunday. I probably won't log in again unless I have something I need to say about books I'm reading, but probably see you tomorrow or maybe I'm really good at um, not vlogging for days on end, so we'll see. Don't you like how I'm always just like so casual in these vlogs, like laying down on in my bed right now. Anyways, it is Tuesday, April something, maybe 9th. I'm not really sure, but I said I was going to vlog yesterday and I just didn't get around to it because we didn't get home to like 8 15 and then we had to mount our two tvs into the new apartment so things have just been kind of wild and today i actually have some time and i wanted to let you guys know where i'm at with unravel me which is the second book to shadow me which is what i'm reading let's see if i can prop this there we go so here is unravel me and i think i'm about 70 percent of the way through i'm on chapter 52 and it's starting to pick up but this book started out super slow and so i'm really glad that it's starting to pick up again because like literally for the first 190 pages or no probably like 170 pages were just like 
painfully slow. So I'm excited about the idea of this getting faster. Chamber Secrets, I am on chapter eight, the death day party, and I'm actually halfway through. So I do about 70% reading and 30% audiobook when it comes to Harry Potter's because I want to get through. Why do I say that all the time? Because I just want to like soak it all in, but I have so much other things I need to read too. So when I'm doing my makeup and stuff, and I've talked about this before, but I'll just mention it again. When I'm doing my makeup and stuff, I will like put it on, which is only like 30 minutes. So it's really not that long. The rest I'll always physically read. So sometimes I get through a chapter, but sometimes it's not even enough time to get through a chapter because Stephen Fry is such an amazing narrator that I don't up the speed on anything on it. I listen to it like normal speed because it's so good. He's such a good narrator. Anyways, I'm gonna make some dinner now because I'm getting hungry. And um, check in with you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's 11 a.m. I am not at work today because I'm waiting for the internet guy. <laughs> I'm waiting for the internet guy to come and set up our internet because we just moved. So I kind of did some working from home and stuff, but I wanted to let you guys know I finished Unravel Me last night. Is this even good lighting? It's probably not. Let's do like... So yeah, I finished Unravel Me last night and I actually have lots of feelings about this book because the first like 50% of this book is tragically painfully slow and I was getting to the point where I was a little worried. I'm like, am I even gonna like this? Am I gonna DNF this? Am I gonna force myself to read this and just hate it? But it ended up coming together in a really awesome way. The last 40% or so of this book I flew through. In fact, starting yesterday, I was only 50% of the way through when I finished it yesterday. So I really like the way this ended a lot. We got a lot of Warner in the last half of the book, which thank you. Good grief. He's like the only character that's three dimensional in this series. So I'm really excited to start the next book because of the way this one ended. But I need to force myself to start Ruin and Rising also. So I love how that's how bad it's gotten. I have to force myself to read Ruin and Rising. I'm just excited for Nikolai. So that's why I'm gonna read Ruin and Rising. Also, I'm going to start Ignite Me. I'll probably just like read both of these at the same time, like dedicate time to each of them at certain times. Room Ignite Me is a little bit shorter than Unravel Me. Unravel Me was like 460 pages and Ignite Me is just about 400 pages, so it's a little bit shorter. Ruin and Rising is the longest, I think, of the Grisha trilogy, but it's not terribly, well, actually maybe not because it looks like 417. That's not horrible. I think that's like probably pretty close to how much is in Siege and Storm. I'm gonna have to read my review of Siege and Storm to like get myself back up on what happened. Like I remember cause it's only been like a week and a half or two weeks, but just to like totally refresh. Anyways, I'm gonna put both of these on my nightstand because they're what I'm working on. I love the cover of this book the best. I'm okay, well I don't love the covers of the Shatter Me series just cause I feel like, I don't know, they're kind of weird in my opinion. Like they're not ugly, I just don't love them. But I like that it's like red and light blue. I love that colorway so much. Also, I'm now on chapter what of Harry Potter? I did read some Harry Potter this morning. I read about a chapter and a half. Chapter 10, The Rogue Bludger. So I'm about, I think a little less than 50% of the way through the Chamber of Secrets. Anyways, I thought it'd be cool to set my camera up and kind of show you guys, I'm about to get ready. So kind of show you guys like my makeup routine, except for like, I'll probably just speed through it. So you'll just get a kind of an idea of what I do, but but yeah, let's get to it.
already died on my camera so I had to switch it out but the only thing that wasn't put on camera is like me doing mascara and spraying my face I think like setting spray and also I contoured my nose but this is final look now the last like six months or so I just don't have time to do eyeshadow on weekdays I always do it on the weekends but weekdays I'm just like I don't have time anymore but I had a little extra time today obviously so put some eyeshadow on some fun purpley eyeshadow Anyways, that's it for right now. I'll see you in my next clip, okay? Not sure what it'll be. I'm not gonna make any promises. Maybe tonight. I'm getting better, a little bit better. Sometimes I go weeks without, or like a full week without vlogging. Anyways, getting better. Maybe tonight. See you then. It is the same day. I'm kind of surprised. I got around to filming a vlog clip. I'm gonna have to change the location of this camera because it just makes me blurry. Okay, so it's the same day as I was saying. Um, I started Ruin and Rising today while I was waiting for the internet guy and I hated the first chapter so much that I almost just was like, I'm going to DNF this, but I was like, I'm not going to DNF this. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to freaking do it. So let's find a way to get around that. So I read like the first chapter and I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I Googled Ruin and Rising chapter summaries and I read a chapter one through three summary and um, basically, I, I did read the second half of chapter three, so I really kind of only skipped two chapters maybe, but I hated it so much because, now if you haven't read Ruin and Rising, maybe skip the next 30 seconds, but like Alina was just like doing it, like everything that the apparat was saying to do, or like she was just like cowering to, I just couldn't take it anymore. I've, that's my biggest problem with Alina is that she just like, lets other people make decisions for her like has she ever made her own decision once i'm not sure so yeah so that's the last bit of my little rune and rising i guess shadow and bone spoiler i didn't really spoil anything <laughs> that wasn't really a spoiler i guess it kind of was but not really anyways i that means i'm starting chapter four which is page 75 um, I'm hoping that it just gets more interesting from here on out. The Darkling did come into play, thankfully, and I'm just waiting for Nikolai to come into play, really. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm slouching really bad, but it's honestly because the only way, only place I could put the camera and not get blurry because the background was too light was on top of this pile of books because clearly my bookshelf still isn't put together yet, so. Who came to join? Say hi to the man. That's little man. Um, I need to do a lot of writing. I've got a lot of writing I need to do, but I don't feel like I can, like I need to dedicate hours to that. <laughs> and I just don't, I'm, I'm very anxious about it and I don't feel comfortable dedicating hours to it until I have my house, like apartment stuff put away. So that's probably a bad excuse. Like I probably should be dedicating time to it, but I'm just so physically stressed out that anyways, physically stressed out, mentally stressed out. Anyways, one more thing. <laughs> this is like the worst angle. There we go. That's like low key hilarious, but also just, just my life. I really want to read Strange the Dreamer and I don't want to buy the US hardcover editions because they're ugly compared to the UK ones. So I went on eBay a few weeks ago and bought what I thought was the UK hardcover. And it is, but do you see this? It's like a hardcover, but there's no dust jacket on this and it's not nearly half as gorgeous as like the actual UK hardcover. So I kind of don't really know what to do with this. Like, should I keep it and read it and keep my eyes out for an actual UK hardcover edition? And when I do find one, buy it then. The Muse of Nightmares UK hardcover edition is still on Book Depository, so that one's easy to find, but it's the U the Strange the Dreamer book one that's impossible to find. I do know that you can buy it through Amazon UK, but it's currently out of stock, so I set up like a notification, so if it does come back in stock, to buy it then, but I don't know, so maybe I should keep this. Buy Muse of Nightmares before it's impossible to find on Book Depository which is the UK hardcover Muse of Nightmares. And then once I find the Strange the Dreamer, whoops, UK hardcover, the actual one, and not this like weird 
like Walmart version. It's like it's like the Target version versus the Walmart version. Um, once I do find that, buy it then for my collection and stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this book. I've heard just like literally the best things. It's not on my TBR this month. Maybe next month or June. But yeah, just my luck, right? Am I right? At least it was only $17. Maybe that was like a dead giveaway because they probably would be selling for more on eBay. More like $25. But... At least I didn't really miss out on much because I want to read it anyways. So it's not like that big of a deal. Anyways, yeah. I think I'm going to end the vlog, even though it's just a Wednesday. It's kind of like a weird day to end the vlog. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I do have a lot of footage to use. And um, yeah, I kind of don't have anything else to say anymore. I'm sorry if this little part is boring, but I wanted to update you guys. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here i'd love to have you join the family we are a close-knit loving happy family and ever since i've really gone full force with this booktube thing i have found so many booktube friends so many good instagram twitter youtube friends and the internet community has been good to me and i thank everyone for that who has come along for the ride like just more recently or who has been a good friend of mine or like a booktube friend of mine or like, you know, just some, just a supportive gal, supportive gal or guy. I appreciate you. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it happens to be that you're watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.